All right, I'm going to do, it's kind of like, it's a spoken word piece, but it's, it's also kind of a story. It's a love story um, between two people who loved when it was not okay to love the way they did. <clears throat> she shuffles and sways unsteadily in that room. She's twirling with a straw broom on ancient legs that have walked miles without shoes at the insistence of the blues. The music reverberates off plank walls from overused records that skip in all the right, right places, places leaving traces of broken dreams floating in the air like a glistening dust motes to spare. And over on the wood-burning stove, it's a treasure trove of scent where the bug-eyed crawfish boil. Amidst a monologue of a lazy fan spin, the tempos only spoil. The squat ceramic kettle, blue as her eyes, whistles happily of her praises while aged bosom heaves, she stirs spicy rue and the hickory kindling blazes. After a pause that seems like a decade's gone by, she speaks up high towards the shingles, hoping her man and God still intermingle so somehow a door will open in the floor of heaven and the one her heart still beats for can listen. When she says in this voice of an aged parchment paper love letter made better by being drizzled with the ocean's tears and then dried over a weathered tombstone that cradles a single red rose posed in an amber scotch bottle. Sugar. I made your favorite for our anniversary today. And I may be old and withered and gray, but I still recollect how the spindly-legged cicadas would serenade us when you skip pebbles across the pane of my lip glass. And even though you knew my daddy would have tried to beat your ass, you still came for me. And so, quiet as midnight mass, I'd sneak down the broken staircase to follow the tread of your footsteps that it flattened the flax and grass, and man, even though we was children, we knew black and white don't make gray. It makes milk chocolate. And tell me, who can say milk chocolate ain't sweet? Her gap tooth grin spreads in her head and she sighs like a celestial choir. Like embers of a home set on fire, reminiscing, reminiscing like a film reel just stuck on repeat. His eyes shone with the heat of sincerity. When he took her hand and he slid that steel band on her finger and he didn't even linger for the answer before he grinned and said, now let's go make us some babies. <laughs> they ran hand in hand to the orchard and her silver draped eve, rough bark, smooth back, smiles curved and fragrant apples became a decadent bed while the ivory stars observed and their forte moans caressed their wonder like thunder up against the bashful eyes of the sun. There was an innocence there, just loving in the shadows till Mother Moon's veil was undone. For 45 years, she's made that same meal while the love-struck fireflies dance, and she does it to celebrate life and, and love in cornfields when all that love was was chance. Through stick-propped window, rain tiptoes in to moisten the smells of home. And she leans on that counter, remembering those days and the taste of her sweet Jerome. Thank you. Thank you.